Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Ooh, ooh. What's up, y'all? Preston Smiles here from PrestonSmiles.com, also founder of Kaboom, a 10-week online rocket ship for more creativity, consistency, and cash flow in your coaching business. And today's transmission is, and I mean this legit, this may offend quite a few of you already, and that's kind of the point. <sighs> this is an open letter to everyone, everyone, but especially those who are spiritual or in the personal development space, transformational space, to get off your high horse and stop being so fucking serious. This is for the person who scans the internet looking for something to be offended by. This is for the person who knows in, inside of them at some, in some way that there is a molehill and they have to create a fucking mountain out of it. This is for the person who is so damn serious, so damn uptight, that there is no space for them to actually be the thing they're talking about. Oh my God, let this land. Life is long and beautiful and also short and tragic. And one surefire way to make sure that it is short and tragic is to be so hell-bent on finding something to be offended by that you stress yourself out and you make the load so heavy. This legitimately, there's a lot of things that I've been sort of not addressing and I'm just gonna start unloading. And this is one of them, especially our community. I'm gonna include myself in the spiritual, personal development and all that stuff. Stop fucking being so offended. If somebody puts up a stupid meme, just ignore it. Or ask yourself, if I wasn't, if I didn't have my social justice hat on, if I didn't have my extreme feminist hat on, if I didn't have my save the dolphins hat on, would I actually create a, just a little bit of space to see and give them the benefit of the doubt? That maybe, just maybe, there's more to the conversation that you can see, that you can currently cognize and understand. Oh, can I get an amen? Can I get a yes, yes? If anybody else sees this and is completely like, what the fuck? Like, it's, it's just so interesting. It's so interesting to, to see how the human psyche, and I get it, I get it, we all want attention and so we write things and we have our um, internet muscles they come out and we, we become so strong on the internet and we want to tell everybody off about how I'm mad about that thing you said or or and here's the other one Ooh, let's take it here the other one and this is for you spiritual personal development transformation people for you mindset coaches this is for everybody out there who who, um, who's playing the game called, I, fi I got it figured out. Everybody who thinks that their way is the way and that they, because they did 12 courses or read five books, actually understand everything. The other part of this, this is part B, is the somebody writes something or puts something out on the internet and then the person responds with, yeah, but, or, um, like for instance, uh, I just put something up on my uh, Instagram and somebody wrote, and it was about relationships, right? And going on seven years, being in a relationship, married for three, a kid and the whole thing, and also being coached and taking workshops and allowing myself to learn something, I've become aware that how men and women operate is not the same. And so I put up this funny meme that also has a little bit of truth to it. And this girl jumps in, this spiritual girl jumps in and says, yeah, that's not true because, you know, it's my job to only make myself happy and no one can ever make me happy and no man can ever make me happy and all of this stuff, right? And then, and then somebody else jumps in on her comments like, yeah, girl, 
So true. And I get that, but like that's already implied. And for me, that's not even true. Yes, I'm responsible for my happiness, but I'm also responsible for Alexi's happiness in the sense that our nervous systems and our biology is linked. For the surface level person, nobody, they don't even understand that. So they think and operate from this first stage consciousness where it's, it's me and you. No, it's us. We are linked when we get into relationships. And so before you jump out of your, hmm, what's the word? Special place to correct someone. Just have another think. Just have another look and ask yourself, am I making this way bigger than it needs to? And I know this is not for most of you guys, but uh, maybe you'll share it and maybe <laughs> someone else will see it, but like catch it, real talk. Um, we get way too serious about everything. Like legit, way too serious. I get it, like president and famine and all of that stuff and uh, there's less people in starvation and in poverty than what ever before and Yes, I get it it's mass shootings and all of that stuff and Crime is actually going down Yes, I get it the the the, the planet and the oceans and there's a more people creating space and bringing awareness to that than ever before so all of it Yes, and let's stop being assholes on the internet and actually loving on each other or just ignoring or, and I said this to a person today, it's all in the approach. It's all in the approach. Instead of trying to like drop the hammer and come off the top belt and elbow somebody with your comment, maybe just say, hey, you know what? I'm. Maybe I'm not seeing this right. Do you, is this like a joke or do you, like, yeah, is this serious for you? Because if it's a joke, like, ah ha ha, get it. But if it's serious, I'd love to start a dialogue. That's completely different than you're wrong and you're an asshole and you hate women and you hate men or you hate this. Like, huh, let's bring it back. Let's bring it back, right? Okay, that's all I got. I love you guys. Blessings and blessings. Um, let's just not be so damn serious. That's it. This is to all of us, myself included. Because when those things happen, sometimes I feel like attacking. I feel like responding instead of react or reacting instead of responding. And sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. So this is for all of us. All right, peace.